Well, so I get here at seven. What time is it now? It's like 7.15. This guy shows up. I can tell he's just got a book bag. It looks like he like got dropped off or like I didn't even see where <laughs> he, he Ubered here to, yeah, to like, the cable. I swear to God, dude, I don't even, he looks around, he goes, you have a modem? I'm like, oh, the modem's right here. So I'm like, yeah, we got the modem. He's like, you got cables? I'm like, do I have cables? You what, are we getting a jump start? Like, yeah, what the I'm fuck? Like, that's what I knew already. I'm like, no, you're here to put in the connection. And he's like, oh. Yeah, hold on. And then he like goes down in the basement and comes up and like walks around. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I need to, we need to call a technician that does this specialty they bring from the pole. I'm like, that's who you are. He yeah. goes, I'm the second technician. I don't know why anybody would send me here. He, he goes, I I'll call them and set it up. This is what the last did. Dude said, yeah. he'll call them and set it the up. The last now said you're here. This isn't your fault. I'm not mad at you, but someone has got to be here today. This is on your end. And he's like, I'm calling right now. They'll be there from one to three. I still think we should call. Oh, them we are. We're calling right now. Right now. He's like, they need special tools to get into the basement from the cable pole. And yeah, I get, I get that the job requires a, a different skill. Yeah. What what skill does it take to actually get the right person here? Is yeah. The question. I see you have an appointment scheduled for Wednesday, July 10th, between 1 p.m. and Wednesday. Are you calling about this appointment? Yes. Does that still work for you? No. What is that you're calling on? Um, well, my second technician in a week, that is the second time that you guys sent out someone to install internet when we need somebody to install the actual cable wire. This person that just left told me someone's going to be here from 1 to 2 today or 1 to 3. I just call and the appointment is scheduled for Wednesday from 1 to So before I lose my fucking shit, I need somebody out here today, but I also don't want to ruin your morning because I know this isn't your fault. That's where we're at. Yes. God, this is so annoying. It's like every time too, dude. Like every fucking time you would do something with Comcast. Yeah, I just had a second person come out to my address to do an install and they sent the wrong person for the second time. That's unacceptable and I need someone here today as soon as possible. And I'm being transferred around your phone system for no reason. Like this is out of control. I can't apologize for that. That's what I'm saying. I keep getting bounced back and forth between residential and business because nobody wants to deal with this shit. Thank you. <clears throat> Every time I have to explain this, it's going to get worse. I'm telling you that right now. It's not going to get better. They think that they'll de escalate me by the time they transfer me around this fucking place. It's not going to happen. So. No, that is exactly what they think. They're like, oh, someone's upset. Just keep transferring and they'll eventually lose steam. Not me, bitch. Get it up. <laughs> Stand this shit. For all the people out there getting mad too, being like, hey, you're just doing the, I don't care. I don't fucking care. And work for someone else that has a better system. You don't want to get fucking screamed at. I don't know what to tell you. We better get this lens repaired. Why? What happened? It got dropped in Philly, you fucking brainchild. We had a full conversation. Yeah, but where do they repair it? At the store? Or do you got to send it back? Hey, I'm Angel. Who am I speaking to today? My name is Teddy Safarian. I'm just very happy. I don't know why I keep getting transferred back and forth between people, but the second time you sent the wrong technician, it's seven o'clock in the morning. And now since I've called, I've been transferred three times to tell this story. So now I'm getting even more pissed off. So I need somebody out here. That's it. I don't want to be transferred. I don't want to be shit, but told, hey, you know what? James Gandolfine will be here at three o'clock, but that's what I need because this is ridiculous. That's where we're at. Let me know how you can help me today. All right, I don't just for that inconvenience, right? And, uh... I need someone out here to do my internet today. Yeah, but you reached the sales department. Okay, so I didn't reach shit. Someone from your company transferred me. This is sales. <laughs> is that what he said? Yeah, like John John Carroll burn this building down trying to get him fucking internet today. This is ridiculous. And every time they fuck up, it's a three day wait. The guy afterwards. Sales doesn't even have the script on his computer for this situation. He's like, ah, I, I, yeah. I just sell the internet uh, to James Gandolfini, like the dead dude from fucking Sopranos is gonna come install the internet. That have me dying over here. Uh, <laughs> hey, put your fucking internet in. Oh, that's pretty convenient. Thank you for having two accounts with us. Cool. I need it in hands with Thomas. You folks have a good day. Thank you. And how you doing this morning, sir? 
I'm doing all right, but that's a lie. I'm actually doing terrible because I'm up at 7 a.m. and there's thing. nobody here. The first one came on July 3rd, so I've waited all weekend here. I was The first technician didn't even tell me when the appointment was. I had to call. He said, oh, it's between 7 and 8 today. So I rushed down here, and I have an employee down here from 7 to 8. And then they send the wrong technician again. And then that technician tells me that he's made an appointment today from 1 to 3. And then when I call, it says Wednesday from 1 to 3. So I'm getting jerked around left and right. I'm not into it, and I need somebody here. That's perfect. And I apologize, our technician made that mistake. I've seen some time in there for the spare from 1 to 3. So we will get our bed today between 10 and 12. And that is to install the actual hard wire, correct? Correct. Yes, All right, just making sure. Because if the third one comes here, I might be on the news. And there might be a Comcast guy getting body. He's trying to stay out of jail. All right, trying not to go viral. <laughs> You know what's up. See? You too. Fuck. See? 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 Like Got my fucking way, right? God damn right I did. We'll see if they send the third technician out here. Fucking God damn it. I wake up peaceful, bro. Swear to God. Woke up fine. Fine mood. So, uh, you guys ready to go through all that blue sky shit or what? Yeah, fuck yeah. Dude, it's so much shit. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to go through all that old shit. Today we'll set up all this tomorrow. We literally did a live stream, I said I'm gonna do a 30 day salad sabbatical, and you said, yeah, me too. And then the next thing you did was went live yeah, here. He <laughs> cannot not. I went out what? to lunch and I had our watermelon salad. <laughs> On Twitter, we're like, that's not a salad. It's like, yes, the fuck it is. It just has watermelon in it. So, so do you have, do we know exactly what we need downstairs, like two rugs, one bed. How are we gonna get it all here? We need one bed, just a clean bed. So if Lisa doesn't hit me back today, I'm gonna check on their shit and see if they just, if they don't hit me back today, I'm just gonna buy the queen. Cause that's all that fits in that spot. So, like a love seat thing, a hutch or whatever. Let's, go, let's go right to Goodwill. <laughs> we could. <it's> <laughs> Just walk. There might be some there cool be, shit. I mean, yeah. We just need to make it look cool. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But really, it's about figuring out the bed and all that shit. Oh, it won't sit flush. Walk in, and then your bed's just like here. Yeah. I think either way, it's gonna be a queen. You know, a king is not gonna sit here. I think a queen is 16. Hold on, I will Google it. What is the width of a queen bed? 60 by 80. Nice. So can you fit the queen there? Is that 60 wide? I can tell it's at least fucking, it's at least six of my dicks long. You won't put that in the box. Yeah, I will. 60 inches, yeah, right to the end. And then is it 80 this way? My feeling is the bathroom experience is all about shower head and head. Can we get a shower curtain with a picture of me printed on it? Yes. <laughs> we can. We'll have to give them the option to change it out. Anyway. <laughs> Do you want the urge? I used to never feel like this. I'm a savage. So I used to just get out of the shower. I probably still would if it wasn't for Alex, but just get out of the shower and let water run everywhere and just walk around, whatever. Alex puts down these crazy blankets and shit. Yeah. And it's like this whole experience when you walk out of the shower. You're like, God damn, you know? So I ordered this really. She's going to talk shit. This is nicer than we have at our house. This long. You step out of here, it's just straight up like nice. heaven. Get that bidet. The, you should get the bidet from the toilet. Yeah, dude. That Japanese. It's not. You order that on Amazon. I'll be here in a day. I'll install it tomorrow. Two hundred a piece. Ah. Uh, you're gonna have to rig something here. I smoke this joint. Okay, we also be here shortly, yep. which means we can get our day started shortly. Which means Brandy hit me. I can bring her car to her shortly, and then we can smoke weed. There's a lot to do. Since they've given us enough hell today. We could do, if Bran wants to, uh, what's it called, like a treasure hunt where there's clues? Oh, okay, I didn't really think this uh, Yeah. Oh yeah, you can squeeze through there, but barely. Clip the ladder, it'll scare the hell out of everyone. Bang! And a rabbit. And the rabbit's whatever. But they don't eat the rabbit. Not yet. One day. <laughs> and when they do it, one day. day to remember. One day when he's not paying attention and it scurries across the floor, and he just thinks it's a treat. We find him down the stairs going, <laughs> Rabbit with its yep. eyeball hanging out of its fucking skull. Alex yep. is crying in the corner. Just like I told you. And then, in order to conserve the rabbit, we'd have to cook them down and eat them ourselves. It's you know I the know, only for way. Sure. We can't have to go to waste. <laughs> Serve them to Alex. Just, like cut around all the dog punctures. Good meat right here, baby girl. Uh, you can use your tears for the broth. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a third dog. Yeah. What uh, kind of dog is he? I don't know. Like a little. 
Come on in. Come on in. Go inside. Oh, there's the rabbit himself. There he is. Oh, easy, bud. Easy, handsome. You're all wet. Crazy day. Hi. What up? There's I'm, a lot of you. There's a lot of me. A I'm back and bigger than ever. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, we just had to run over. We've been... Good to have you back, Ernie. Yeah, and thanks. Tour. It was fun. It was good. Long, tiring. Yeah. Ah, oh, she's digging again. Well, now I just, because I just said it, it's hard. Oh, you're on the phone. Oh, you're, you haven't seen what Matt dropped off yet. Ernest. <laughs> oh, no. I saw a picture, but this is what I'm going to see in real life. Dun dun. I want to see these. Like, this stuff? Yeah. All, like, Hey, yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with a lot of that shit. Yeah, that's what we'll do tomorrow. Brandon and I will set up a table. No, it's not. Not, not all of this was fuck-ups. Are they all different sizes? Some of this is 3X. This is an XL run NMD. There's all sorts of shit. The Happy Pride XL, Happy Fourth of July. There's nothing wrong with these. Damn. Yeah, so tomorrow. All right, let me turn. Ninja is in the building. Nice. Very hey. Roxy, 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 Roxy. Alright, like we go or where where now? Let's do it. Alright, should we go now or should we I say we go, right? We might as well. Here we are, back in IKEA. Let's race. You said you weren't coming here once. How many times have you been here? Before and you know this ain't the last one. It better fucking be. No, it ain't. I don't think you're gonna bring the camera in because we're gonna need all hands on deck. We'll give you a full breakdown as soon as we get back. Full breakdown after the jump. Full breakdown after the jump. <laughs> the wait to return those things was about 45 minutes. I'm so and there were about 22 people ahead of us to start. Brutal. I just enjoyed sitting there watching the people come up because I knew how bad their day was gonna be and you just see them pick the ticket, look at the number and then they'd look at the screen and you would just watch their face just go ghost. Some people were in denial. A guy actually asked me, he said, oh, you don't need to take a ticket, do you? And I said, no, of course you do. There's all these people waiting. Yo, what did that guy think and everyone <laughs> was waiting for? He's like, I don't need a ticket for a return, do I? Like, you think the rest of us are here for a fucking seminar? Yeah. What else could we all be standing for? Part is his kid goes, Oh, yeah. Dad, I'll take a ticket. He goes, No, 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 you don't need yeah, a ticket. You need You're waiting for a return, right? I think you do need a ticket. He's okay. like, Oh, you do? I hope they never call his number. Two minutes later, goes up to the counter and says, Excuse me, do I really need a ticket for this line? As if I was li as if I was fucking yeah, with him. We're just all chilling. We're just hanging out to troll you. Oh, you won the prize, sir. <laughs> We've all just been doing this for no reason. Yeah. Got some good ge gear for the Airbnb. We won't say it's Airbnb in one day, but. We are well on the way. We got the right yeah, shelves. Yeah, Denver Mattress, you're next. All right, we'll check in with you soon. Why did you just tell me to turn the camera on? What happened? This is a different Omar. There's a few Omars. There's more than the two. Will that work? We literally walked no. in and he grabbed it and he I said, and he's, it's the long like box. The wine rack. And he, he goes, this is it. This is the one. I'm not going back. I can't go back there today. Not a whole day. How? How in the fuck did you do that? He did it too. It can't I'm going to take it with me. I'm going to go buy my myself first thing in the morning and I'll just swap it out. This is, dude, how many fucking Omars are there? This is insane. You don't understand. No, I, I do understand. I was there and I, I didn't even check. You're like, this is the one. I got it. Let's go. Whoop, this is it. Oh my God, this whole day shot. I got a salad samurai book though. God. Shout out to Alex. We got four wine racks. I don't know how to get this back in the box. All right, let's find out about this bed. This is unbelievable. You're unbelievable. We just said we'll never go through those returns again. You have to pick a number and wait for hours. It's straight hell. How many Omars are there? Wait, how do I do this every day? <sighs> he said, how do I do this every day? It's a character trait, that's how. This is insane. I agree, Aaron. I agree that this is insane. Wow. That we just spent the entire afternoon at Ikea returning something so that you could get the wrong thing again. We literally had no other... I guess we got a rug for downstairs. Yeah. Let's go see if that fits real quick. When I go out, yeah. No. We're putting this rug in. Oh, God. A little bit. Oh, good. It'll be perfect. I can't believe we just spent the whole fucking me neither, but dude, I'll be here at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Or no, what time do they open? Are you fucking kidding me? I can't even go as early as I want. Maybe I'll go back tonight. I just can't bear to go there again. You can just go before they come. I'm gonna vlog if, 100% uh, I'm vlogging the return. How much was madness? Well, the annoyingness.
You'll never get it off. You need scissors. You can't pull that off. Let me call the camera shop. Then, then Denver Mattress Factory. All right, so today has been uh, re fucking ridiculous. We got a mattress. I have to go pick that up tomorrow. Dropped off the broken limb. That's gonna take like six fucking weeks. The internet finally worked. Yeah, just ordering shit. Basically have to get this Airbnb done tomorrow. I'm running out of time before people start coming in town. I ain't worried, there's a lot to do. And don't like driving around. Tomorrow we have so much to do. We have to pick up a bunch of shit, go through all the stuff that Sager dropped off. I don't know if I explained this on the vlog. Sager had to close down the print shop. They just like aren't renewing the lease there. He had to shut it down. He cleaned it out and they dropped off a fuckload of stuff. So we have to sort through all that, figure out what we can do mystery bag wise. And then yeah, I'll keep you updated, but it's a lot of old shit. It's supposed to not be here. Um, yeah, crazy day, long day. It's not even halfway over. Maybe I won't. Oh, speaking of Amazon, Alex got me this book. So I'm on a 30 day salad sabbatical and Alex caught me this salad book called The Salad Samurai. I'm just gonna make a salad every day. I don't know, seems like an idea. I ordered this Punisher Max, the complete collection of Punisher Max comics. Cause I never read this and Punisher was by far my favorite comic book character. And with all this comic shit, book shit, I just I picked up a couple of other things from the eras of comic books I didn't read, but it's all Punisher. That's pretty much it. Just stuff. Art stuff. Drawing stuff. Reading stuff. Eating stuff. You know? Smoking stuff. Selling shit. Buying shit. It's life. World keeps spinning. I'm out of here. I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> the real answer is we didn't make a salad. You did. Pesto, cauliflower, and potato salad. That's a lot. We'll see what's up. What are you doing, lazy bones? What are you doing? You tired from your walk yesterday? You tired from playing? Ooh, what are you doing now here? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Omar has not had a single trimmer. His foot is getting way better. Like, just a little bitty hole right there. But what we didn't film the other day is Alex found right in there, in the back of his paw, there was a splinter. So basically Alex pulled this crazy splinter, uh, crazy splinter out of his foot and then immediately, literally immediately, Omi, come on. But pretty much immediately after that, his foot started clearing up. So shout out to Alex. Come on. The vet did not catch that one, I guess. But that makes sense as to why it would be aggravating. You're so tired today. I was supposed to be here early at like 9, but he texted me and said his morning was crazy. And he will be here at 10, but we also had to get a U-Haul truck. We also have to move. We comped a mattress yesterday, but now the landlord just told me that he couldn't get a sheet of drywall in there. Finishing up, printer, there's just a lot of stuff. Like the last couple of days, just <laughs> really just lighting things up. How are you? Bad. I'm ready to go through all of this. Yes. I don't even know where I'm going to put it. I don't either. Dude. Holy shit. Yeah, we got some stuff to print on. That's all Supima? Yeah, the thing is, we're going to go look at the numbers again and match and make sure that they're all right. But the thing is, there's certain things like blue, we have a full run, but no double XLs or something yeah. like Dude, there's random things like, remember they, they would be short things, all of a sudden there's a box of like- Did they give you any attitude? No, no, he was actually, dude, he was like, yo man, I get it. Like, he, he got the forklift, he got the shit down, helped me in the truck. If it doesn't work out, like instead of trying somebody different, come back, we'll work it out. He goes, I get it. And he was saying the same shit. He's like, if you guys could just have like just seven colors, we'd stock them, we'd have them. And I'm like, dude, yeah. like we can't, that's not what Teddy's trying to do. When I said, hey, we might do like one off shirts or something just on black yeah. and keep it local. So we got no problem with your work. It's just the timing doesn't work. The brand's ready to kill herself <laughs> and me. Everyone. Fuck, they put these keys. Here we are. Welcome. I don't have the receipt. The same motherfucker put me there. Yeah. Um, also. Yes. Also, yes. There's a possibility that bed might not fit down there. Yeah? I, I, I'm pretty confident because it'll bend and- The box spring? Box spring, will be, there'll be two of them. 
It'll On a be queen? cut in half. Yeah, that's how they do a queen. It's two doubles, okay. I'm sure. All right. I thought about that. Something's crackalacking. I'm hitting something up high, taking a tree branch out. They'll charge you for that. Did you get the extra insurance? Yeah, I did. Up to a million dollars, dude. We Yo, fuck this thing, this thing, thing up. up. I got some aggressions to get out. Let me drive. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're not going <laughs> to the insurance. The landlord left me a note last night in the door that said, please. No smoking of any kind in the unit. Really? Yeah. Uh, to the U. Look at this. You thing. should rent an U-Haul and Uber in it. <laughs> no. What do I have to lose? Just my your job. My Uber job. Yeah, your Uber job. Ronald McDonald job interview is still on the table. Yeah. You know. Dude, yeah. you got to do that you, one. You, I can't because I'd have to shave my beard all the way off. I wouldn't even make a good Ronald McDonald. I could be a bearded Ronald. You have a more clown face. Thanks. <laughs> you have a more clown-like face. It's more endearing to children. You're like Ronald, what happened after? You're like Ronald, catching up with him. You're like 30 for, th Ronald McDonald, 30 for 30. <laughs> I was slinging fries, me and Grimace. It was me and Grimace, the hamburger, Mary McCheese. Mary McCheese, I can't <laughs> believe this guy existed. The fry guys, we were all fucking living it up. And the fucking salad menus and the dollar menus. <laughs> No one gets a fucking happy meal anymore. No one wants to be fucking happy. <laughs> get the mattress, get lunch, unload the mattress. Salad or what? Yeah, we can do salad. <laughs> we are now at the loading dock. We're getting the mattress. Frame in. No, oh, that's just the mattress. I believe. That's the box spring? All right, this right now is currently when you know you're doing something that is a waste of time. Like, we know that this isn't going to fit. Do we? We do. We absolutely know it's not going to fit. Yeah, here's, well, here's the op. What I was thinking is it's two doubles. Two doubles is for a king. Yes, yeah, for a California king, usually. Yeah. The option, I think, would be, is, is to return that shit real quick. The and whole mattress. Yeah, and cop the purple, because the purple is a fucking whatever, you, you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to fit. Like, we both know this is not going to fit. And then what, we get a platform from Ikea? Yeah, the, something. Are we 100%? I know it sounds like a waste. Are we 100% sure it's not going to fit? He said, what kind of bed did you get? And he said, we couldn't get a single sheet of drywall in there. <sighs> so you tell me if you think that the fucking mattress the drywall's is drywall's longer, but hold on. Let's look up drywall. Do you want to go eat and think about it? Let's, yeah. The salads are only 0.5 yeah, miles. So, so let's, let's go eat. do that and then we'll think about it. <laughs> to, to be continued. For those of you staying in the Airbnb, you it's going to be a comfy <laughs> stay. You just got upgraded. It's the only thing that we can fit yeah. inside. They gave us the free purple sheets, though. Oh. No way. Come on. Look at this guy. Here we go. Guy said it takes two people. Pure bitch. The amount of plastic it's wrapped in. Here we go. There it is. Jeez. Don't split your wrist. Ah! <laughs> I want this on camera when it pops. Look at it expanding. It's a monster. It basically just cost me about a thousand dollars. So <laughs> that's basically where we're at. With it. Uh, what is this? This, this is thing purple. purple, it came in a like a duffel bag and it just oh. popped open the oh, whole yeah. We're back at IKEA. We're not going to return. We're not bringing this camera to returns. All right. Ready to put it all together? <laughs> Go outside. <laughs> Go. 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 Okay, so I know the sound in here is not amazing. The last couple days have been ridiculous. Like, holy shit, I'm so fucking tired. The Airbnb's almost done, it's kind of. We have to build all the stuff waiting on a futon couch to come in, so now there will be like two sleeping places, basically. So there's a futon and went ahead and cop a purple, so that's a good night's sleep. That shit's better than I'm kind of jealous of my Airbnb bed. Some people are gonna ask why I didn't go with Lisa. I hit Lisa up to see work with me again, and they haven't gotten back to me yet. So the plot will continue there. Purple, like I needed something now. Like that's the main thing is most of this stuff I need like right now. And even still, I don't know if all the stuff will get here. You know, we didn't fire, I guess, the printers, but we the last couple of drops we haven't used our local Colorado printer because of turnaround times. The main thing is that when we signed on with them, one of the big things with me is like how fast shit turns around and 
They told us they could do 10 days. They haven't been able to fulfill the 10 day turnaround. The price that we're paying them, no 10 day turnaround. It's almost like a 19 day turnaround. It's just like too much. And it's really slowing down my progress, dropping clothing and getting it to people quick enough, especially friends and family. Like I want to get it to people fast as shit. We leave ordering open for like a week, but as soon as that week is over, I want to hit the ground running and it just hasn't been fast enough. So not only do we have all of the stuff that came from Sager, we have a fuckload of just garments, a lot of shit moving around. And then Airbnb and this and that drawing and trying to get everything done and editing and just man <laughs> tired ordering all kinds of stuff about on camera i got punisher stuff that i've been really wanting to read i can't open this look at this efficiency though dog i'm super beat what i really need to do tonight is just edit oh, try and get something done punisher max volume two one two this is what i need to start here the welcome back frank series so these are what the ones I want to read. Uh, let's see. A lot of stuff probably comes downstairs. Mystery bags are coming. So, friends and family is going to get first crack. They're going to be $15 a piece. Guaranteed to get two shirts. Some of them will have three shirts. But the third shirt is going to be like, there's a bunch of misprints and shit. You know, there's misprints, there's samples, stuff that didn't come out, random shit. So instead of throwing good clothing away, I'm gonna include, I just wanna get rid of it, you know? And 15 bucks is a super deal. You're getting like, even if you just got seven, that's way lower than the cost of the shirt. So just need to liquidate, get it all out of here. Friends and family will get first crack. I don't know exactly when that's gonna be, but it'll be in the next couple of days. Friends and family, you will get an email. I'm so tired right now. I can't remember what else. Kanye dropped a photo, well, Forbes dropped a photo. Hundreds of shoes, Kanye. I don't know, dude. People, people are so upset because they haven't gotten all those shoes yet because they don't understand what the word prototype mean. They don't understand what it takes to bring a product in. You know, like, it's just, oh my God, it's exhausting. It's a lot of fucking shoes and it's a cool photo. And there's some colorways that look cool, but you know, prototypes. I think I'm cooked, man. I think. But now I'm stopped moving. My body is, my body is saying no. I'm sure I'm forgetting all kinds of shit, but I gotta go. I'll see you guys soon, possibly tomorrow. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs>